Now we already know that smartphones have become more than just devices, they are a digital extension of us. And over the last couple of years, smartphone technology has become more powerful and more efficient than ever before. It's brought the world together for us, closer to us. It keeps us informed and it's opened up new opportunities that were just not available earlier. Now this development in technology has made life simple to really navigate through every single thing in life. The technology available right now is helping differently able people to make sure that they do not face any hindrances. Bhavish Patel cannot see, but that has not affected his mental strength. This photographer from Mumbai has created a unique identity for himself by excelling in photography. Uh, I am blind from childhood, but my blindness made my life a burden. I don't want to be like this, I don't want to be like this. For Bhavesh, technology has been the game changer, making the impossible possible. This has not only helped him to excel professionally, but also given him a chance to work with big brands, including the K brand and a photo shoot for Katrina Gare. And now talking about how smartphones have helped differently abled people, instant messaging apps and social media is another aspect that has made it so much easier for people to communicate with each other. Marine Drive, the heart of Raipur, is where you will find Tapri. A cafe serving steaming cups of tea, but in a very special way. Tapri is a cafe that promote sign language by employing hearing and speech-impaired individuals. Founded by Irfan, Tapri intends to serve society at large. The cafe aims to not only provide a unique experience but also sensitize fully able people to the challenges of being a hearing and speech-impaired individual. Starting was very challenging because the hearing impact community thi, वो बाकी लोगों से कभी इंटरेक्शन नहीं की थी और जो फिजिकली हैंडलेक हैंडीकैप कम्युनिटी थी वो लोगों के सामने कभी सर्व नहीं करी थी क्योंकि वो बाकियों को देख के थोड़ा अंदर में उनका झिझक होता है कि ये मेरे को क्या नजर से देखेंगे जो ड्राफ होते हैं उनके सामने हमेशा लोग हंसते थे चिढ़ाते थे दौड़ाते थे तो उनको जब यहाँ पे वो आए तो थोड़ा पहले झिझक थी कि अब कैसे लोगों से सामने फेस करेंगे बातें करेंगे बट धीरे धीरे जब लोगों देखे लोग उनकी रिस्पेक्ट कर रहे क्योंकि यहाँ पे जितने लोग दिख रहे हैं सबके सब स्पेशली एबल्ड है तो लोग उनको रिस्पेक्ट देना चालू किया तो वहीं से इनका क्या धीरे धीरे अंदर का मतलब कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल ग्रोथ होते दिखा now we all know that social media has been a game changer from helping launch business online to being used as the primary platform for communication and spreading information. Here is how a team of doctors are using WhatsApp to save lives in the remote area of Uri. When Sheikh Nuruddin, a JNK policeman, suffered a heart attack in November, he had no hope of survival. In absence of a cardiologist in the remote area, a WhatsApp group, hashtag Save Heart Initiative, launched by cardiologists in Kashmir, came to his rescue. As the 59-year-old cop was taken to primary health center, Boniar, doctors used the online platform, received real-time guidance from cardiologists to handle the cardiac emergency. फोन पे बात की इन्होंने उनसे सर उन्होंने इसको कौन सा डायग्नोस करना है तो वहाँ से उन्होंने उनको बताया कि ऐसे-ऐसे करो फिर मैं मेरे को कोई डायग्नोस करके तो इन टाइम मुझे सोरा में पहुँचा दिया। Moments like this, when time is of the essence, having good photographs of the ECG reports or having a good quality video call is of utmost importance. This helps the doctors provide the right treatment plan to the patients in a timely manner. Immediately we upload within 10 minutes to Save Heart, the Save Heart Initiative group, where from the doctors were there, the cardiologists guide us via a text message or video call, or they call directly uh, to us to, and they guide us how to treat the patient, said patient, and what to do. At every step, we do follow them. Now, we all know how COVID played havoc in everyone's lives. Unfortunately, education took a backseat during this period, especially for children who were studying in government schools. Lack of internet connection, proper devices to use that added to this problem. But there were some people who tried their best to help these children, and they succeeded.
Satisha is a government school teacher at the primary school in Mullur village in Karnataka's beautiful Kodagu district. During the COVID pandemic lockdown, when offline classes were completely stopped, he was keen to make sure his students had no break in their education. At that time, I remember March Tinglan Kothini. ಇದ್ದ ಕಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಏನು ಶಾಲಾ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳಿಗೆ ರಜೆ ಅಂತ ಘೋಷಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ತು ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಏನು ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗಳು ಮುಗ್ದು ಹೋಗಿತ್ತು ಮಕ್ಳದ್ದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದಷ್ಟು ಬಾಕಿ ಇತ್ತು ಇದ್ದಕ್ಕಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ನಮ್ಮಿಂದ ಬಿಟ್ಟೋದ ರೀತಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಆಗ ನಾವು ಮೊದ್ಲೇ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಏನು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಟಿ ತಗೋಬಹುದಿತ್ತು but like thousands of his teacher colleagues around the state and country for satisha to get a good enough signal for online classes was not so simple mane walage signal sikta irilla madam navu varagade bandu nen idr thala bhagadalli nintkotta idu illi namage salpa network sikta male bere irta ittu aa sandarbhalli kootkondu makkalige ella instead of getting defeated by the problems of connectivity satisha decided to think outside the box He had noticed that he could get some phone signal on his smartphone if he climbed up his mango tree a little bit but obviously he couldn't take classes out on a limb the solution this tree house Despite the rise of the internet and the internet penetration here in India digital illiteracy is a major problem that we are facing and this is more apparent among women in rural India improving digital literacy is the need of the hour the digital empowerment foundation is helping women become independent this is a great story we covered their heads might be covered and their hands might feel heavy with the weight of the bangles but their eyes twinkle with curiosity to learn something new The girls of Itki Ranchi have not only learned how to use smartphones and computers they now dream to be entrepreneurs the girls and women from nearby villages come to Itki to learn how to use smartphones and computers from Neha she is running a digital center where she is helping empower women this has been possible because of the digital empowerment foundation These women who never left the village alone are now breaking barriers by becoming independent. Equipped with a smartphone, the world is now their oyster. Hum log har ladki apne mein mazboot hue hain aur hum log ko matlab bolne mein jhijhakte the kahin par wo ab nahi hai ab hum log mein itna confidence aa gaya hai ki hum log हर कुछ को हर चीज को खुद से कर सकते हैं मोबाइल के थ्रू कर सकते हैं हम लोग को किसी पे आश्रित होने का जरूरत नहीं है Following your passion has never been easier. It no longer requires expensive setup or equipment with fast and powerful processors. One can easily do anything on their phone. Rita, a home chef, started her YouTube channel and she shoots and edits her videos on her phone. Look how her life has totally changed. Equipped with a smartphone, Rita started shooting and editing her photos on her phone. She finds it easy to shoot with her phone because it takes less space and she is more comfortable shooting with it rather than using big cameras. She records her voiceovers and finally edits her videos on her phone as well. She likes that the phone gives her the freedom to edit and upload her videos from anywhere rather than having to sit at one place. मैं फ़ोन से ही शूट करती हूँ क्योंकि एक तो फ़ोन से बहुत ज़्यादा कंफर्टेबल रहता है स्मार्टफोन का जो कैमरा है बहुत अच्छी क्वालिटी का है वॉइस ओवर भी आप उसमें दे सकते हो बहुत अच्छी वॉइस आती है और ये जो है उसको मैं छोटे से ट्राईपोर्ट पर लगाती हूँ आराम से और किचन के स्लैब पर ही रखती हूँ और उससे अपना आराम से शूट करती हूँ गैस पर और उसके बाद इसको मतलब एडिट करना भी मेरे लिए बहुत ईजी रहता है तो मेरे लिए सबसे ज़्यादा कन्वीनियंट था कि मैं फ़ोन पर ही शूट करूँ और फ़ोन पर ही एडिट कर लूँ अपना Let's take this story about following your passion and making it your profession and other step ahead. A career opportunity that has come to the fore thanks to smartphones is game testing. Wow, you know, that is a career I would want to consider. You play games, talk about them and you get paid. Watch yourself. This is your champion. Shahul was an avid gamer, but he turned his passion into his career. 
have to play through the game and like a normal player and i have to note down the issues whatever i encounter along the way so that like developers will be fixing the issues whatever that are existing in the game and we also perform like uh, performance testing just to check if fps is proper throughout the game uh, and there is no clipping happening and there is uh, no lag happening in the device smartphones and smartphone technology is here to stay it will only become more powerful and advanced over the next couple of years the widespread use of smartphones has brought up a lot of new possibilities and this is only the beginning Snapdragon is calling all you cell guru fans to join their global community called Snapdragon Insiders. This gives you access to the latest scoop on Snapdragon tech, a chance to connect with the experts behind the scenes, premium experiences, exclusive contests and so much more. Look, I've been a Snapdragon insider for years. You can become one too by simply following Snapdragon on Twitter. or instagram and give yourself a chance to win a oneplus smartphone by participating in the ndtv snapdragon contest just go straight to ndtv.com/unleash your dreams